Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects Quick Tips scripting tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to apply FFX presets to your footage. You can do this easily with the script. You can reference a file that is a preset file you previously saved somewhere on your computer, or you can even just use the preset name built into After Effects. So in this example, I'm going to use this to apply a set mat effect to my layer. And one of the cool advantages of this is it allows you to create presets and use properties that you normally can't change with the script. What I mean by this is take a look at our set map effect. By default, if I just hit reset, it selects a layer and it uses the source of that layer. But sometimes you want to use the masks or the effect and masks of that layer uh, as your mat. But there's no possible way with scripting to change this value. We can change the layer it chooses from, but we cannot change this. So one advantage of being able to apply your own FFX preset is to be able to save and or bake in these properties that you can't programmatically set and use those in your project. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the super simple code for this in the GitHub link. Make sure you follow us there for coding updates and in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you want to help support the channel financially, you can also get cool perks and become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP link in the description. So if we look inside the guide and type in apply presets, all we have to do is provide a preset name um, of your FFX preset, or we can also provide a file object. In my case, I like to use file objects much more because we have more control over them and uh, we don't usually use the built-in presets to After Effects. So if I go ahead and create a new JavaScript extended file here inside of Visual Studio Code, I'm going to first create a variable for my layer that I want to apply the effect to. In my case, I just have one layer here and uh, we'll go ahead and just call layer one. So we'll say app.project.activeItem. So we are assuming they have a composition open and we're gonna grab layer one. So now all we have to do is call that single line of code dot apply preset to our layer. I'm gonna go ahead and just call my layer and say dot apply preset. Now it's gonna be super easy to apply our preset. We can simply reference a file on our computer and it needs to be encased in a file object. So I'll say file in parentheses. So this is creating a file object and inside of the parentheses, we need to have our path to the file. In my case, I have the set mat effect in my videos folder. So I can say reference my videos folder and set mat.ffx. And I'll go ahead and run this and you can see we already can apply our set map effect. Now, if you are doing this with scripting or extensions, one useful thing might be to say dollar sign dot file name. This will give you the path to your script. So including the entire folder path and the script name, all you have to do is get rid of that folder name and you're left with your path to your extension or the path to your script. With that, you can put the FFX file right next to your script and then just say, hey, there's the file apply that preset based on this uh, really close location. Hopefully that makes sense. But basically that's the main point is that you can quickly apply presets from a file and get around some limitations of properties you can't modify, as well as just uh, speed up the process of scripting without having to hand code all the property values. But that's gonna do it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Make sure you follow us there for coding updates. And in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support the channel financially, link for this is in the description. You can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP and get cool perks at the same time. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.